Marie, I had the great opportunity of playing that many years ago with John Williams and the Boston Pops. I've played it with Keith Lockhart as well. I got to record it with John Williams, and he was great to work with, and I had a great time playing it with him and recording it. And I'm bringing this up because this is the last video of Frequency Bone Summer Music Connection 3, 2011. And really, the whole summer was on personal art, wasn't it? On personal art. You inside of the art. You and your art. Being with it. Allowing yourself to explore, to find the properties, to quest, and not to be preoccupied only with technique or this sense of over-perfectionism or audition mentalities or any of that, or on-the-job mentalities, to be free of that. And for those who find a value with this, I guarantee you, it will be a companion. You will have your whole life I'm very thankful that I pursued my personal art. And since it's infinite, it'll always be with me. Even when the day comes where I really can't play, when, <laughs> smack, play my trombone well. I'll still have the personal art. I'll still be able to have some notes I can have fun with if I realize that things change I won't always be playing the same but I can always develop inwardly and that's the message of personal art your whole life can be personal art but you might start with some of the music in you. Re-enliven those connections that drew you to the mag magic of music in the first place. So, that was Marie. Uh, I made it personal for me to take my personal art and put it into the things that I do. personal to me. It's a old Bengali chant. Very different than Marie. 
very different frequency and means something different to me. Both personal, but like I've said many times, everything has a spectrum. Everything has a spectrum. So you will find the spectrum in your personal life. If you have a quest, you'll find it. You know, you can make anything personal. Anything in the orchestra. Anything that's not in the orchestra. Tunes that maybe your parents sung to you, or your grandparents, that still mean something. Play them. See what happens to you. See what feelings it brings up. I wrote something I want to read. I offer it to the musician deep inside of you. And to the hope that all forms of music will have essence and meaning and connection. In the humbleness of our beginnings, there is a stirring, a possibility born, yet to be uncovered. Potentiality dawns with the light of our active, enduring pursuits. If it fits with the plan, work it. What is this that tugs at me? It drives the soul to its destiny. Mount the waves and balance and route. Consciously with it, don't dilute or doubt. It's there for us if we be true. It will guide us forever anew forever anew is what the personal art can offer if you grow it and expand on it. It's huge. Music is huge. Music is a microcosm of the universe. If that's too big for some people to think about, then think about it more locally. It's a microcosm of the world we live in. Now you can't go down the street in, in a lot of cities now and not see tons of different, for example, restaurants. The world is very close by these days. Tons of different restaurants of, of different ethnic origins. The world has kind of come together a bit. Let's not forget the uniqueness of each group. And in that we'll find the greater unity. And the personal art can help foster that. I'm convinced. I really am. To me, that's an eagle soaring. That's a flight worth having. Make it happen in everything that you can do. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can mean something. <laughs>